In order to create a rubric on Canvas, you're going to be looking at the Canvas page, not in edit mode, which would make sense, but instead on kind of the overall preview of the assignment. So you're going to click on plus rubric down here, and then you can start working with the rubric here. If you've already created rubrics, you'll be able to find them in find a rubric. Now, a warning that their rubric maker is actually kind of clunky to work with. It's probably one of my least favorite to create the rubric, but it is my favorite for using it. It is super easy when I'm actually grading a student assignment to go in. I just quick click on what they have. It instantly is going to add it up, put that score in the grade book. I can easily then transfer that to power school. So what I don't like about the rubric maker is all the clicking of the different things that whereas most of the rubric makers you type directly in it this one you have to click on a lot of different stuff so let's say we are going to be writing an essay and i've got introduction as my first criteria i could go and add a long description so this is exactly what i want it to look like you don't have to do that then you're going to have here's your different categories they start with a default of five and zero you can add more as you'd like. It's now going to pop up. This is new, so for those of you who are creating some perhaps last year, it wouldn't have been a pop-up. It would have just expanded the screen. So you're going to add that. You can add, like this is average, this is acceptable, whatever you want to call it. You can also add specific descriptions. If this was a real rubric I was using with students, I would definitely be doing that so that they know this is what it looks like. For the sake of example, I'm not going to. So maybe my introduction is worth five points. Now I'm going to add another criterion. So here is body paragraph one. Now the difference here, and this is the one part I do like about building the rubrics within Canvas is maybe I want that to actually be worth 15 points. Whereas most rubric makers I've worked with require me to be just working on say a four point scale. On Canvas, it is pretty easy to change it and different components can be worth different value, point values. So here I can add different ratings and maybe here there's four different possibilities whereas this one only had three. So now this is worth 20 points. So you can continue going on until you are finished. Then if you're going to use the rubric for assignment grading, so this is where their score is going to come from, you can click here. If you also want to be able to write freeform comments when assessing students, you can go ahead and click on that. I generally just write a comment in the comment section off to the side if I'm using that. And then I go ahead and I create rubric. Now here you'll notice that because the assignment that I had was worth 25 points, but the rubric only has 20, that's kind of a check for you to make sure it has as many points as you thought. And you can either change it, so this would change it where the assignment's now actually only worth 20 points, or I can leave it different, so that would allow for extra credit. So I'm going to click Change, and I'm going to create that rubric. Now on here you can't because I'm not grading something. But when you go to speed grader and are actually grading student assignments, I can't show you how to do that right now because I have no students in this course who have completed an assignment. But you just go through, you click here, you click here, it adds up the points and easily transfers that to your gradebook.